Oh, do you ever feel like singing some old Negro spirituals? Just we don't have, we ain't got, we need mo. Life is just fucked up. It's terrible. All that shit's rooted in limited thinking. Because I'm going to give you an example. I had a situation and I had to expand the compartment of my brain because there was this, it was, I mean, it was, it was, this was the space, like these fucking Tic Tacs. That's how big the space was, right? And I was trying to solve my problem in this space. And there wasn't enough space because there wasn't enough thoughts and activity in that space to solve my problem. And I got frustrated. And I went for a walk and then either maybe a tree whispered to me or maybe a squirrel was like, yo, dude, expand the concept. Expand the context. I think it was a squirrel. And, you know, uh, Steve the Squirrel, thank you. That was some great information. Because what I did is I went from this little box and I expanded it to this box. And see, this fits in here several fucking times. It fits in there. And then because I expanded my context and I expanded my space, I solved the problem with the tools that I used that were in a greater area. Many of you are operating on limited thinking. You'll see me or you'll see someone and then you'll use your limited thinking to go, hmm, that's the way that is. Yeah, it can't be no other way. Because like members of my family who think I'm a criminal because I don't have a job. I mean, I know I'm good, but I ain't that damn good. If I was out here like, you know, doing some illicit activities or stuff, I would have been in jail. I'm going to tell you a little story. And this happened recently. I got a new car, as you know. And I was driving it with no tags. And I already know that more than likely I was going to get stopped. So I printed up a copy of the title, bill of sale, insurance, staple all that stuff together and had it in a glove compartment and was ready. Sure enough, got pulled over. As soon as the officer came, handed it to him, was ready. Then she goes back to her car, comes back up. Oh, you know your license is suspended. I'm like, no, my license is not suspended. I was driving for Uber. I just went through a background check. And I actually had some paperwork stuff. And also, then she mentioned some from a ticket from 1998. And, you know, if you watch these videos, I talked about the National Driver's Database and told you. That shit's crazy. So I knew that I had handled that. And I was like, look, I went down to the city of Atlanta Municipal Court, got the green envelopes, had to have them sealed, go back to the DMV. I through this got the paperwork at home as well. If you want me to go, you know, it was close to the house anyway. He's like, You want to go see it? I can show it to you. And I didn't get arrested with a suspended with no tag, no suspended light with a suspended license because I had to go back that Tuesday and get it reinstated. And I showed them my paperwork, and it was just like, This is just crazy. And I had on a hoodie, yeah, I had on a hoodie so. When you have limited thought process, and I'll tell you that whole story is that people will judge you based on how you see yourself. Yeah, I had a hoodie on. It was cold. I had a skull cap on, but I was speaking like a motherfucking boss because I am a boss. And that conveyed over to that officer who could have easily arrested me and impounded my shit because I thought of myself as a boss. So did she. Hey, what's going on? Just letting you know, there's some new updates to Hustler Universal Life Skills. Um, got the Craigslist stuff going on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up all of that Craigslist stuff before I move on to the credit profile, the uh, credit, how to build up your credit. Because there's a lot of people who really need help with this stuff, and they're just not really getting it. So right now, we're doing Craigslist. Like today, the section that will be up, maybe before this video or after this video, will be dealing with... How to make money with no money. Thanks to Cleaver, who was part of the original Cool Kids of the first 30 days to 2500. Pretty much expanded on his concept, uses the Craigslist, and give you a step-by-step -step method on how to do what he did. So if you want to get in there, get in there. Also, um, I'm going to work really hard to make Hustlers University life skills super, super tight. There's going to be a ton of cool stuff in there. Every day I've got my list, I'm adding stuff. And essentially, you could think of me of the dad, the big brother, or that cool-ass uncle that you didn't have who's going to drop some knowledge on you because I did have 
a cool ass uncle that drops the knowledge on me. And I did have a cool ass grandfather that drops the knowledge on me. And I'm really grateful for that. But I realized there are many people who don't have that shit. I had several freaking mentors growing up. But many people are in that state of where they got to figure this shit out for themselves. So instead of you figuring it out for yourself, I'm going to give you a leg up. Because essentially, you know, I do believe you should be cash and carry. You should be carrying some Ben Franklin's with you at all times. But also, I think your credit needs to be straight because you got to live in both worlds. And what many hustlers or disruptive entrepreneurs do is try to live in one and that shit comes back to bite you in the ass because you're not handling your business. If you're cash and carry, you should have bulletproof and perfect credit because you're cash and carry. You should do that. And I'm going to teach you step by step how to build it, how to fix it, what bullshit secured cards you need to stay away from, what banks have got it going on. And I'm going to drop all of that stuff in there because we are about to go through some serious doo-doo end of this year, 2015, beginning of 2016. When gas dropped down, I got like a chill. I was just like, you know, this is um, this ain't right. This ain't right. This is this is this is not right. So I think that collectively, if we do these things, and also for all of those, I, I'm doing something totally different with hustling university life skills. I am not raising the price of hustle university life skills because it's 99 bucks. I'm gonna leave it that there for the end of, until the end of the month. And the day is 20-something, 20th, 21st. So my goal is every day to add some special content and some goodies for you. Because if I didn't have mentors and I didn't have people, you know, growing up, my Amos McDaniel, my grandfather, all these folks who, you know, my Uncle James Cameron, all these folks who said, look, young man, this is what you need to do. And, you know, I was a little knucklehead and I didn't really get it. But at least I had that stuff to learn from and to reflect on and then have in my mental toolbox to draw from it later on in life. Some of y'all, Bush, y'all ain't got that. You just don't. And I see this a lot with young guys when I had the uh, storage auction business. And I would just see this with so many guys coming to get out. They didn't know what the hell was going on. They didn't know what time it was. And, oh, when I do the dating course, you're going to love that shit. I've helped out three people with this stuff. And it seems counterproductive and counterintuitive. But you got to understand, just like you were lied to about college and working hard and investing your money, because that works for a small percentage of people. And we look at that small percentage of people and we say, whew. That's the, that's the norm. That's the, no, that's the exception to the rule. Rich folks don't have money in the stock market unless they're controlling companies. They have fucking annuities. It's a whole different ball game on creating wealth and making money. And we'll talk about that stuff because one of the deals with the life skills is you need to learn how to sell. You need to learn how to present stuff. You need to learn how to build stuff. So I'm going to make that part of Hustle University life skills established in 2015 it's going to rock out it's going to be fun so you want to be there and you can go ahead get in and i was yeah for the people who are doing international i've got you know they'll be here here you know somewhere in here i'll put different payment options like if you use square that's for the united states only um you have the gum rope option if you're international and i would use the stripe option also, if you're international, so I'll just list those there. International, and right now, everyone that's in founder status because I'm building this up, and it's still Hustle University Life Skills is still in beta status. So I'm just gonna rock out, put content every day to the end of the month. So it's gonna be something cool, there's gonna be something nice, there's gonna be something sexy and helpful for you. So go ahead, you want to get in on that. Like I said, it's gonna be goodies, special things, and I'm actually proud of this product because I know what it's going to do for people. And I know what the mentorship that I got from the men in my life did for me. And essentially, masculine energy, and like I said, there's a lot of women. Welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. But a lot of guys are falling for that ambi-bambi bullshit of you got to be this beta wimp psychophant. Otherwise, if you're too masculine, somehow you're an abuser. And that's just bullshit. And I'm going to tell you how to walk that line and make those moves. All right. This is Glendon. 
I'll see you on the good side. And be sure to go ahead and become a founder of Hustle University Life Skills Academy.